What's going on, Legion Bees? Matty Ice here from Legion for Locals. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect Mailgun to Go High Level the correct way uh, and hopefully save you a ton of time and a lot of frustration. Uh, I've seen a lot of people post about uh, struggling with Mailgun, which I totally get. It took me a long time to get comfortable with Mailgun. So I'm just going to walk you guys through step by step by step exactly how to do this so you can just knock it out and you don't have to worry about it again. All right, so uh, make sure you stick to the end. My only ask, as usual, is if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. I always have uh, some good additional training for you guys there, uh, including a new video I just made about how to get more of your emails to the inbox so you're avoiding you know, the spam folder, junk folder, promotions tab. Uh, so make sure you check that out. And uh, also, if you don't mind, go through my affiliate links. I, it really does help support the channel, and I really appreciate it, guys. You are awesome. All right, let's rock and roll. So we're logged into Mailgun here, and uh, uh, we're going to click on the Sending tab, and you're going to click on Domains here. All right, so we're going to add a new domain. Now, uh, this just depends on what you're looking to do. Uh, if you're setting this up for yourself, uh, you can use like your main domain if you want. Uh, you can do uh, subdomain email addresses as well. Like if you're doing this for, you know, you want to create an email address for each individual client, like I do. Uh, that's what I do for my SaaS agency. And again, just take it from me. It's uh, the it takes a little bit more work, but it's the better way to do it. It keeps everybody's email safe. Um, so you know, just in case one client does some shady stuff with email uh, with their email marketing, you don't want it impacting the rest of your uh, domains, right? So I actually create a subdomain email address uh, for every single client, so they have their own stuff. Uh, nothing is being commingled at all, et cetera. All right, so keep that in mind. But you could right here, you could do, you know, uh, like mine is uh, Matt at leadsforlocals.net. I could do that. Um, I'm just going to give you an example for a subdomain uh, email address, which is usually what I recommend uh, just in case something does happen. So we could do something like, uh, let's see, I'm going to do test email dot uh, leadsforlocals.net. All right. So you just type in the um, uh, the subdomain that you want here or, or the re regular domain. Uh, it's totally up to you. So we're, we're typing in, in this case, our subdomain. All right. We're going to click add domain. All right. We'll give that a second. All right. Successfully created. Now, we uh, what we want to do next is actually put all of our like do all of our DNS records. This is kind of the annoying tech stuff. But again, I'm going to walk you through step by step. It's actually not that difficult. All you're doing is copying, pasting. All right. So uh, you're going to log into your domain provider. I like GoDaddy. They make it really easy, not to mention their support is fantastic. So, uh, but the, the process is going to be pretty much the same, whether you're using Namecheap or whatever. All right. So uh, we're going to find our domain here. So leadsforlocals.net. So you click on your domain and you're just going to go to your DNS records, uh, manage DNS for your domain. All right. It's going to be down here at the bottom on GoDaddy, manage DNS. All right, and we're going to click on add here. And then the the type is going to be uh, so we're going to do two TXT records here. All right, so we're going to copy this host name. All right, go back to GoDaddy. Uh, the type is going to be TXT. We're going to paste that in. Um, make sure that there's no space uh, at the end, uh, beginning or end of what you're you're pasting in here like this. Like see the extra space here. You want to make sure that's deleted as well as in the beginning here. All right, sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't, just double check it. All right, from there, the value is gonna be right here. Enter this value. We're gonna click this little copy button here. Go back to GoDaddy. In the value field, we're gonna paste that in. There's no extra space at the end or the beginning, so that's good. The TTL, I usually just do an hour, and then you're gonna click add record. And um, I always choose yes on this one, uh, which you do wanna do. Um, so choose yes, click save, and you just added your first DNS record. Um, we're going to add another one, which is going to be TXT. We go back to Mailgun. So our second one right here is TXT. So we're going to copy this host name. All right, GoDaddy, the name right here. All right, make sure there's no space at the beginning or end. Uh, there was a little bit at the beginning there that, that will screw up your DNS records, guys. So make sure you don't have space there. Um, the value is right here. Let's copy this. All right, and then we'll change TTL to one hour. Save. All right, so the TXT records are done. Now we're going to do the MX records. All right, so we're going to grab this host name, copy it, go back to GoDaddy. We're going to click add. The type is going to be MX this time. The name, we're going to paste that in. All right, get rid of the extra space. Okay, priority is going to be 10. It's always 10. All right, enter this value. We're going to copy that. GoDaddy value. 
TTL, add record, uh, save. All right, and then we're gonna add our second MX record. Okay, uh, it's actually the same host name, so you just um, copy and paste it pretty quick. But anyways, uh, add MX name, get rid of the space, 10 value. Let's see, what is the value here? It's MXB, so let's copy that. All right, one hour, add record. I know this is tedious and it's boring, whatever, but if you're doing this for yourself, then uh, you're not gonna, once you get this done, you're not gonna have to do this again. All right, finally, uh, our fourth record here is gonna be a C name record, or a fifth record, I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna copy the host name, click add, C name, paste that in, and then the value, I believe, is just mailgun.org. Okay, paste that. TTL one hour save. All right, cool. And that's it. That's uh, that's it for your DNS records. Now we need to verify the DNS settings inside of uh, Mailgun to make sure that, uh, that they identify them. So all you're going to do is click verify DNS settings. You, um, I usually have to click this twice. So don't freak out um, like it did it, you know, immediately that time uh, because I've used this test email before. But um, if it doesn't work that first time, just click verify DNS settings again. It usually works uh, on the, on the uh, second try. And this is the screen that you'll get from here. You want to scroll down on the sidebar here. So we're still under the setting uh, sending tab. And now we're going to click on domain settings. Now, the first thing that we want to do is go to DNS records and actually verify the DNS settings again, <clears throat> and then go back to domain settings. And here's why. So we scroll down. Uh, under tracking right here, you can see that there's edit buttons. If you don't do what I just showed you how to do, verifying the DNS settings again, um, you won't see these edit buttons a lot of the times, not all the time, but I, I don't know why. Uh, that's just what Mailgun support told me is just to refresh the DNS settings and you can see this now. And this is important because you want to, uh, at the very minimum, have your unsubscribes turned on, right? So that uh, Mailgun will automatically insert an unsubscribe link into all of your emails really really important all right so click on save and you're good to go um, I would put you know click tracking and open tracking on as well all right so do that and then from there uh, we want to grab our uh, SMTP credentials okay so uh, we're gonna grab this login uh, email address right here uh, we're gonna copy that now we're gonna go over to go high level all right and under settings whoops. so I'm in my sub account here you can do this on the uh, agency level as well. Again, just depends on what you're doing. But I, again, I like to create separate email addresses for every single uh, sub account and client. So uh, but that's just that's just the way I run my agency. All right, we're gonna click on settings. You're gonna find SMTP and Mailgun services. If your sidebar is different, guys, uh, it's because you, you just like they go high level updated it. I just have the newer version uh, at the time of this recording. You might see it up at the top here. All your options just find SMTP and nail gun service, all right? Okay, so what we wanna do, um, you can actually see I uh, did this business one, uh, did this earlier for a um, uh, different purpose, but um, we're gonna click on uh, add service here on the top right. And then the SMTP provider, we're just gonna choose other. Provider name is gonna be, you just type in mail gun. All right, SMTP server is going to be, uh, let me show you where to get that. Um, so it's always going to be smtp.mailgun.org for your server. Make sure there's no space there. And uh, right here, uh, this is where it's at. So again, we're under SMTP credentials right here, SMTP settings. There it is right there. Uh, that's your server, okay, just in case you ever need it. All right, back to go high level. The SMTP port number is always going to be 587, and that is our servers listen on ports 25, 587, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what any of that means. It's just always 587, okay? All right, from there, we need the username. That's the one that we just copied over here. So right here, this login address right here. All right, let's go back to go high level. We're gonna paste that in. And then the email, what I like to do is scroll down right here where it says use full email address. I like to copy this email address. And then this can be whatever, like the, the beginning part can be whatever you want. Now, again, make sure there's no space at the end there. So we're going to delete that. 
and then just um, all you're gonna do is delete the the name right here and just put whatever you want you put your first name you put your clients first name that's usually what I do so I'll put client first name right here like the actual first name don't type out client first name but just insert the clients first name put your first name there whatever uh, and then you're good there and then we just need to click on this reset password uh, for uh, at Mailgun, so we're gonna reset the password, and then we're gonna copy. You should get a little notification that the password's been set, uh, reset, and you copy it. Okay, paste in the password there. Click save, <clears throat> and you're good to go. Um, you just click this right here to uh, to have that be your default provider. I'm not gonna do that because I still want this one, but um, you're going to, uh, and I talk about this in my other video on email marketing, getting the, you know, your emails to the inbox. You want to make sure that you're actually using this email address as the from address for all of your emails. Otherwise you're going to be hitting the spam folder a lot. So make sure you do that. But all you do is click this button here. And, and for this sub account, your email marketing is now good to go. You can send, receive emails. You can track all of your open clicks and unsubscribes inside of Mailgun if you want. Uh, everything is good to go. All right. You can also do a forwarding address up here and uh, e uh, enable uh, reply tracking as well, which I do recommend. All right. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. I know that was a, a little bit long, but um, this is, for me, the, the best way to, uh, that I have found to set up Mailgun. I haven't had any issues since I started doing it like this. Um, so I wanted to share this with you guys to hopefully save you, again, a lot of time, a lot of headaches, uh, because, man, can this stuff be really frustrating if you don't know how to do it. Uh, trust me, I know. All right. So uh, anyways, guys, I really appreciate the time. Hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, uh, leave them uh, in the comments section below. Give me your feedback as well. I always uh, uh, appreciate feedback. And uh, let me know what else you guys are struggling with, other videos you want me to make. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.